So what we have here is a, we call it the DGVIP. Stands for Drink Delivery Vehicle Dash Inverted Pendulum. It is a two-wheel balancing robot that has this fancy little tray on top that can carry beverages and it's remote controlled so you can drive around and deliver beverages to whoever wants them. The parts on there. So we're gonna attempt to just sort of hold it on the table here. You drive it again. Got it. Now we're gonna go for a spin. <laughs> Put some pop on there and it doesn't really affect it. And we got these fancy lights up here that kind of just make it look cool. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, those are controlled by the remote. There's a button on the remote that toggles the lights on and off. That will our LCD screen here, which does two purposes. Um, what it does for us at the top here, it displays our current angle that, uh, it is, that the um, whole controller is reading off of. And then what it says below here is basically our, our neutral angle because we couldn't, because of how we mounted the parts and just how everything is, we couldn't necessarily get it perfectly 90 degrees. So we have um, a potentiometer over here, which we can adjust sort of that neutral set angle that um, it's, it's ideally trying to balance at. And then on the front here, we have our little tray, which you hit a button on the remote and it's going to go and play a little light show for you. And then hit that button turns it off, and then that's just controlled underneath here um, via just a pick right there. We also have a sound output, as you heard it when we first turned it on. That basically just gives a warning to the user that the motors are going to start turning. Um, so right now the motors would start. <clears throat> and that's transistor assisted right there, and it's uh, sound generated by the Arduino. And this thing is driven by two motors down here um, through three H bridges. Um, they're all uh, PWM and uh, reversible. So to keep this thing balanced, what we used was uh, an inertial motion unit, which contains a couple of accelerometers and electronic gyroscopes. A little tiny module that's going to be hiding under all these wires. There's a little, little tiny chip in here. And what that does is that gives us information that we can use and run it through a couple of filters and some math to determine the angle. Once we've determined the angle, we run that through a proportional integral derivative, a PID controller. And that's what actually generates the output for the motors based on your input to keep the thing upright. So we have the controller. This is a two-axis joystick. Um, it runs off two potentiometers. Uh, the forward and backward changes the set point. If you look at this number here while he's moving that joystick, it will change forward and back if you want that. So it changes the set point a little bit one way or the other, depending on which way you want to drive it. And then the turning just super, and both of them actually superimpose over the signal sent out from the PID. Um, and we have the one button that turns the lights on, and then the other button um, is just kind of a, a design consideration for future use. It doesn't do anything right now. Keep it all nice and tidy and not just a rat's nest of wires, which it appears to be anyway, but it's, I assure you it's not. We made our own printed circuit board here to handle a whole lot of the connections between the Arduino and the external the peripheral components. Uh, and then additionally, we made our own cables using some crimp connectors and, and housings. Uh, again, just to tidy up cabling, make it all nice and neat so that it wasn't all breadboarded and, and you, know, you run it into something and half your wires pull out and you have to rewire your whole project. So doing the breadboard saved us a lot of, a lot of hassle with wiring. You can see the back of it there through the, the clear plastic. And by adjusting the joystick here, you can make a change, you can make a tilt, and then therefore move. And Left and right on the joystick just adds a little bit to the individual motors to make it turn. Um, PWM duty cycle is what it adds to.